Chris gets eliminated right after meeting Naya's girlfriend. If one bad conversation is enough to ruin it, you are really in it all the way in the first place. I had an opportunity to be able to share, you know, what I consider a playful kiss. But it was still a real kiss. And it made me realize, look, this woman really does like you. And I really do like Naya. I also believe that there's a little bit more that's going to require uh, to be able to make this connection genuine and make it true. This week, I want you fellas to really focus on connecting with these ladies. To do it right, you got to show these women another side of yourself. Be uncomfortable. I tried to reach out just so we could know how to get connected, because he's going to help me do a podcast. Okay. And he had deactivated his page. It may be just his method of saying, I need to take a step back and decompress and not even be on social media. Edwin is more the type that I need because of his stability, how he handles his business. All of those things are attractive. He's good on paper for now. Let me see what size shoe you wear. Ten and a half. Oh. I've got Joy on this side and the great connection that we have. And then I've got Winter on this side. You never know which one of those is really going to continue to flourish. And so I want to nourish those. You know, in order for the grass to be green, you got to water it. It makes me question, like, if our connection is real. I mean, if part of the process is to date other people, then that'd be the process, right? What would you prefer me to do? I know that Joy has a very strong connection with Jay. And I don't give exclusive benefits to non-exclusive men. So moving forward, I'm keeping my options open. There's only one Jada. There's only one. I have told Adriana that you are my number one, that I'm feeling you. But at the same time, this is a process. And I know she's feeling Kalfani as well, but I'm pretty okay with where I stand right now. I think I'm all right. I wanted to talk with Alex because we were not communicating and vibing like we were. So I hope we can peel off some layers and really just talk. There's nothing that you did. It's just me. If I was saying this, what you saying to me, that might be my way of saying, like, maybe we need to slow down. Maybe we need to fall That's not what I'm saying. He's not a great listener. Um, I feel like he does a lot of talking, but not enough listening. And I don't want to be with someone who can't take the time out to see me. I do not like arguing and fighting and bickering and all that. Life is too short. Why are you single now? I don't get it. I keep getting with the wrong people. No woman wants to see somebody they really, really like and starting to like really care about sitting down with an option. <laughs> Do you want to go? Why? Right. I just don't want no problems. Hey, it's not going to be any problems. I think Adriana is actually trying to get up under my skin. Rashid is her man. That's her boo. Okay, so if that's your boo, then why are you over here straddling? You look unstable. You can't do that when people out here are for real. This is their real life. They really want love, and you and you trying to shit on everybody. You gonna get shit on. Keep it cute. Keep it cute. <laughs> yep. Keep it cute. The energy that Denise has been showing me, like with the jealousy or the insecurity, I don't like that. If she keeps on doing that, she's gonna knock herself out the box. Straight up. If you're talking to somebody, I'm not gonna come and interrupt. It needs to go both ways. So do I matter <clears throat> enough for you to get up and come to me first? I, you... I'm gonna tell you one thing I am not. I'm not a mind reader. Confidence to me is key. Yeah. If I'm sitting and talking to this woman, you should be confident enough to know that you left such an impact I on me I, that I you don't agree. you ain't worried about anything that we're talking about. So you gotta be confident I and secure. Show you my feelings. Yeah. I shouldn't I shouldn't I shouldn't show you that I never, I never with you, you sitting with someone does affect me. 
I know we're on a journey and date and everything, but I want him to see that there is no other connection than me. I'm just still figuring out 100%. Okay. Now that I know that, I know how to handle myself. After last week's drama with Jay, I've been doing a lot of work. I feel like emotionally, I just shed a lot of layers and I've really worked through my I want to date with you. Recently, Adriana developed chemistry and connection with Kelfani. So I still have to explore my options as well. He said yes! This was so easy. What have I been tripping about? I'm going to take Joy out on a date. We're going to do a little bit of yoga. You are, you are entering my, uh, my sexual chocolate yoga studio. Oh. This is tantric yoga. Oh, okay. If it gets a little too freaky for me, I'm, I'm headed back to my room. I want to be very strategic in how I touch her. I hold you at the base just to make sure stability is there. Getting a good stretch. Very here good on stretch. The oh, oh, there we go. The fact that Joy is allowing me to be able to touch her is letting me know that she's now opening up to the fact that her and I could actually be an item beyond just, you know, having conversation. Edwin did a great job with yoga. Today bumped him back up. There's like a childlike innocence about him and he makes things fun, but also very romantic. There's other women that I've connected with that I didn't give the attention to because I was sold up with Alex. So I've opened that door with Winter. I'm still giving Brian the side eye because I thought him and Alex's connection was pretty strong. You know, I be looking at you. Yes, you do. And you know, winking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe anybody that I talk to has an opportunity to um, connect with them genuinely, because that's the only thing I know how to do. I don't know how to connect in genuine, in, in genuinity. I just made up a word, but y'all, you know what I'm saying. I like our flow, I like our vibe, I like our energy, I like her look, I like her mindset. Yeah. You know, I like how bubbly <laughs> she is. <laughs> a, positive, a positive outlook on life. He like has so much that he likes about me. <laughs> it's so great. You caught my eye initially, you know what I'm saying? I love the style, I love the swag, I love the thick thighs save lives. I think Brian is shallow, I was just acting. Where is my friend? Where oh, your friend? My... That's what you wanna do, you wanna be friends? Nope. No. Nope. You said that quick. <laughs> That's what's up. I mean friends plus. Friends you know? plus. You got like really sexy eyes too. It's like those, uh, I don't know how you call it, like, like really nice little slant and mm. like those pretty kitty eyes. Well, yeah, they match. I'm a car guy and you know, that's my business. So I want to put together a nice little sexy little car picnic overlooking the lake, really set the mood and really try to get to know her and get her to open up. Tell me about your first experience with what you feel was failure and how you handled it. Um, my mom discovered at a pretty young age that I was a slow reader. I was put in special ed classes. It made you feel less than, but my mom wouldn't accept it. She's like, oh, hell no, my son's going to college. And then from that point on, my whole life is trying to be, prove people wrong. I ended up being the first man in my family to graduate from college. I graduated with honors. He's engaging with me and was super vulnerable. And I like him so much more now. We're taught to be hunters, right? Hunt me, baby. If you don't kill Hunt me, you... I'll be a, like a little, a little fox. Now you see, <laughs> something else I respected. You asked me, but then you stood back and then you let me be a man. Yeah. Don't stop, won't stop, Rashid. I want to keep seeing where this is going to go. <laughs> After this date, I must say, Simone is definitely climbing. Now she hasn't replaced Adriana at the top, but she's putting a lot of pressure on her. She's moving right up the leaderboard. 
the freestyle came. What side was that? No, I felt it. You felt I, it? I felt it. And I was like, oh. When everything that has a meaning comes crumbling to the ground. And when the one <laughs> <laughs> Winter shared some things with me, especially, you know, when it came to her divorce and how she has grown from it. Denise and I definitely have some connections, but I'm getting good vibes from Winter. Just look at her. Um, just her conversation alone, just having that confidence. I mean, the energy just exuded, so it's tough. After talking to Brian, I still want to explore the options and the connections that I have. Rashid does listen. He allows me to talk. He allows me to express myself. And um, with Brian, I feel like we're talking in circles because he's more like responding without listening. Am I in the uh, the running still? He still, you still been. made the playoffs. Yeah, you still okay. made the. You know, you, are you gonna do a shimmy? <laughs> this week has been interesting. My mind was pretty made up with Adriana, but now it's getting a little confusing because I've been able to get a closer bond with Alex and Simone. I'm still a free agent. Brian, how's everything with Alex? Um, <clears throat> it's a work in progress. Is your connection stronger or weaker? Streaker. Streaker. <laughs> stronger and weaker. That's some bull <laughs> Brian, did you know that? No. Are you listening to her? Hearing and listening is two different things. You do know that, don't you? Let's talk about joy. The light of my life, you know. Yesterday, we had an opportunity to really stretch her in different ways. Stretch her? Yeah, stretch her up. It was tantric yoga, so we got a chance to, like, That's you know. sexy yoga. You know, we were back to back, and I allowed her to be able to lay her back on me. That was more of an intimate moment than sex could ever be. <laughs> Adriana and I connected pretty deep. We were on a on a tiki boat. Brian was there with Winter also. We all opened up. We all asked each other relevant questions. We had to take your advice, man. Authentic connections. And that's exactly what we were trying to make happen. All Adriana from the beginning has been saying is Rashid, Rashid, Rashid. Now Adriana's like King Kelly. Let's talk about Winter. We had some cool conversations. Getting a little close? Yeah. Winter. Definitely made a connection with connections. Um, we definitely had some some conversations, some some deep ones. Um, okay. Romantic connection, definitely. Definitely. Let's talk about Simone. Anybody have a, a connection? Yeah, we did. We had a great date. Shall we? Right now. <laughs> In a perfect world, I would love to have another week with her to see what truly, truly lies there. I want to ask all of you all about Naya, because I was real blown away how the Chris thing just... He said something that she didn't necessarily agree with. From my opinion, I don't think it was that drastic to completely cut somebody off. And when you see that, to me, that's a major red flag. Anthony? With Denise, what do you like about it? What are her good qualities? Oh man, she energetic. She's fun, all around, intellectual. So yeah, we were okay. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Calfani, how's things rocking with you and Denise? Did you get to go deeper? That's that because that was an assignment to go a little deeper. Definitely, definitely went deeper. Men, period. We like to feel freedom, right? Even right. in a relationship. The jealousy and the insecurity, it's gotta, it's gotta go. I, don't, I can't deal with that anymore. It's time to say goodbye to one of these ladies tonight. As always, be honest and be kind. Y'all got your work cut out. Someone's gonna have to go home and someone's gonna have to face the true reality that they're not giving us their all and they're gonna have to step it up. I have nothing but great things to say about each and every one of you. One of the things that I kind of noticed that I've heard Kyle Foddy say a couple of times is that it seems like you unintentionally kind of seem to like, maybe kind of- Keep not my focus on one person. Yeah. You kind of like, stay right here, I'm next to you. Too aggressive. Yeah.
the next thing we know, you're no longer checking for him oh. and he's gone. Mm. What I'm hearing from you, you weren't quite as into him as he was into you. No. Okay. But you know, he may have been mesmerized. You know, you're in the midst of beautiful women. So to snag one of the baddest ones probably was like for him. Okay. Every man is different. So there's like a delicate balance of yes. making sure that he knows that you're with him and that you ride for him. Pretty much you want to make sure that she's not a jealous person to be comfortable when he's around other women. Your name came up. We decided you're ready to love. I'm gonna be aware of how I am with men. Calfani is an amazing man. Yes, go out there and have your conversations. See if you're compatible. Yes, I want you to do that. But the only thing is, is that I don't deal with disrespect. The guys have decided that you're not ready. Okay. You could say it to the couch. Oh no, because y'all not gonna embarrass me. I didn't like anyone through this process. However, it's great for them to have a chance with me. The men just aren't ready to be what I need in my life. I was never intrigued with Edwin. I came on the show with lots of potentials already in store. I put those people on hold so I could give this a process to see if maybe there was something better for me. I have an amazing, attractive personality, so sad for them.